Boss Dog Coin Rings here. Just thought I'd make a, a video of my shop where I make my coin rings. I've got it set up out in my garage. I got uh, most of the tools you'll need to make just about any kind of ring, but I don't have everything you need. But we'll just go in here. I'll give you a quick rundown, run through the shop here, show you what I have. Start out like right here. I got I got different kinds of dies, 17 degree dies, 25 degree dies. These are used to fold the coin after you punch a hole in it. You lay the coin. You lay the coin like right in there like that there and it's got a hole in it and then you stick this down in the middle of the hole and you fold that coin into the shape of a ring. And I got other stuff up here. I got I got tools here to size your fingers with. I got dapping blocks here. Those are also used to fold fold coins. Put the coin in there, fold it in the shape of a ring before you put it on the ring stretcher. Different kinds of tapes, ball bearings. These ball bearings go right in here like that there. And I got some files to file the inside of the rings. And I got some some lube here to lube these dies with so the coin folds a little e easier in there. And I've got a, a six ton Harbor Freight press right here. A six ton Harbor Freight press. And a die holder. Six ton Harbor Freight. And they got a one ton Harbor Freight press. That's what you use also to help fold your fold your coins. You put that in there like that and then put your coin in here and then fold it into the shape of a ring before you put it on the stretcher. And I got a ring stretcher here. Ring stretcher for this is a mega stretcher. Here's a regular ring stretcher and you need to make a really big ring band. You put that on, it makes a really big ring band. And I've got some tools over here, a little toolbox. Polishing equipment, polishing equipment, polishing liquid flits. Mother's Mag and aluminum polish. And I got coins in here, different types of coins I use from time to time. I got a microwave right here, used up to heat up the water that I use to put a patina on the rings with. I got a pickling pot, it's actually just a crock pot, a small crock pot, and two different kinds of pickles, citric acid pickle and sparex number two. You put that in there and after you anneal your coins, you get a fire scale on them. You take and you, you dip your coin in there and it takes off the fire scale off of the ring. And I got different kinds of patina stuff. This is that liver sulfur, that's what you use to put a patina on. You put water in here, heat it up, Put a couple drops of that in there, put the ring in there, stir it around for a few minutes. That makes a nice antique finish on the ring. And this here's my annealing station right here where I anneal the coins. Over here I got a polishing wheel where I bring the rings to a high luster. I got polishing bars, different types, white, green, and red. And that brings your rings to a real nice high luster. And then over here we got uh, some Swedish wraps. These are used to make a smaller type of ring. After you, you take your ring, you, you have to have your ring folded into the shape of a ring. You put it in here and you press it down in here and you make the ring smaller. Makes for, it, it helps make a, takes a large ring and makes it into a smaller ring very easily. And here's the tool that you use to punch the hole. It's an auto punch by a legacy brand coin ring tools. And you have different size punches, different it'll punch a different size hole in there. You just basically put this, put your coin in here, and then uh, put this on top of it, and put this in here, and then then you put it through the uh, six ton press and punches a hole in there. Well, there's a couple different kinds, but these are called Swedish wrap dies right here. And here's another tool I use to punch holes in the coins with it. A Harbor Freight nine hole punch set. I, I use that quite often for the smaller quarters and stuff like that. So basically that's about what it looks like in a nutshell here. I just thought I'd give you a quick rundown of some of the tools I use and how I have my shop set up and and uh, hopefully some of the videos I have be making in the future here I'm going to show you I'm going to go through in detail how I use each and every one of these tools 
to make a ring with, starting from here to there to polishing right to the very end where I put the patine on them and an antique finish and really make them look pretty. In here, uh, right here, is a, I keep all my, uh, you have to clean out the inside. After you punch a hole in the coin, you have to clean out the inside of it so it doesn't split when you start folding it. So I use a deburring tool over here and I keep all my silver here. I got some acetone here to clean the rings with. Here's some rings I've got here that I've already made up. Uh, these are all for sale. I got a lot of uh, state quarter rings. These are state quarter rings and and these are silver rings, different kinds of silver rings. Uh, uh, you got Walking Liberty half dollars, Kennedy half dollars, silver. I've got some uh, uh, some Morgan silver dollars. This is all silver right here. This here is all copper clad. Here's a a size 16 Eisenhower dollar ring, but these are all clads, clads, silver, co state copper here. So these are rings I already, I make up and I have them on hand if anybody wants to buy some of them, but it's a hobby right now. I think it's just gonna be a hobby. It's gonna be a hobby. I like it like this, but anyway, I'll get back. I'm gonna make some more videos here in the future to show you how I use everything in here and make sure you like and subscribe to this video. I'll have, be posting some new videos in the future. And uh, this is Boss Dog Coin Rings here. And have a good day.